I'm going to show you how to upgrade the Active Directory functional levels for both the Active Directory domain and the Active Directory forest from server 2016 to server 2025. So to start, I'm logged onto my primary domain controller. And the first thing we want to do is in server manager, come to tools and then Active Directory users and computers. And then if we come to our domain controllers overview, we want to check that all of our domain controllers are running operating system Windows Server 2025. To upgrade the functional level to Windows Server 2025, all of the domain controllers have to be running at least this operating system version. Once we've confirmed that all of our domain controllers are running Server 2025, we can come back to Server Manager and then come to Active Directory Domains and Trusts. And then within here, we can click our domain and then right click and then come to Properties. And then here, we can see that our current domain functional level is Windows Server 2016 and our current forest functional level is also Windows Server 2016. Now what we need to do is upgrade the domain functional level first because the domain functional level has to be either the same or higher than the forest functional level. So we can't update the forest functional level to server 2025 until the domain functional levels are also that version. So to update the domain functional level, we can right click our domain and select raise domain functional level. Now this tells us our current functional level is still 2016 and then we can select what we want to upgrade to. In this case, it only gives us the ability to upgrade to 2025. Once we've got that selected, we can press raise. It will then give us a warning to say this affects the entire domain. After you've raised the domain function level, it's possible that you may not be able to reverse it. I've never had any issues upgrading the domain or the forest functional levels. So I'm just gonna click okay to this warning. It'll tell us the function level was raised successfully. And then it will replicate this change automatically to all of our other domain controllers. We can click okay. And then if we right click our domain again and come to properties, we can see that the domain function level is now 2025 and the forest function level is still 2016. So to upgrade the forest functional level, we can right click the Active Directory Domains and Trusts, press raise forest functional level. It tells us we are currently running Windows Server 2016. We can make sure Windows Server 2025 is selected and then press raise. It will give us the same warning again to say that it affects the entire forest. We can click OK and then it tells us the functional level was raised successfully. To check this, we can right click our domain and then come to properties, and we can see that both our domain and forest function level are now Windows Server 2025. Now the only thing left to do is just leave this to automatically synchronize between all of the other domain controllers in the domain. We can also do this entire process using PowerShell. So I'm gonna open up a PowerShell window, and then within PowerShell, we can run the following command, which is get dash ad domain controller dash filter and then a star. So this will pull back all of our domain controllers and then we'll select the object. So we'll just select the name and the operating system. So if we run this command, it will return a list of all of the domain controllers in our domain and the current operating system version. Again, we want to just make sure all of the domain controllers are running at least server 2025. Once we've confirmed that, we can run the following command, which is get dash ad domain. And then we can format that to a list and then get the name and then the domain mode. So this will return our Active Directory domain and then we'll also return what mode the domain functional level is running. So in this case, it is Windows 2016. We can do the same thing to get dash ad forest and then format it to a list with the domain and the forest mode. And that will tell us that our forest functional level is Windows Server 2016. If we want to actually update the functional levels using PowerShell, we can run the following commands, which is set dash ad domain mode dash identity and then the name of our local Active Directory domain and then dash domain mode and then Windows 2025 domain. And this will update our domain functional level. When we run that command, it'll ask us to confirm. So we can just press A to yes to all of the warnings. Then that will update our domain functional level. So again, if we run the get dash ad domain command, it'll tell us our domain function level is now 2025. And then if we run the same one for the forest, that will still be running on server 2016. If we want to update the forest as well using PowerShell, we can run set dash ad forest mode dash identity and then our local active directory domain and then we can do dash forest mode and then windows 2025 forest when we run that we can do a to yes to all of the warnings we can then again run the get dash ad forest command and then that will tell us our windows ad forest has been upgraded from windows 2016 to windows 2025. So that's how you can upgrade your domain functional level and your forest functional level to Windows Server 2025.